Guess what? Uh, Public News Podcast. Got Dave Victor from the legendary MDC. How you doing, man? I'm doing really great. It's great to be here. It's great to be in this marina. Wow, what a great place it is. Oxnard, home of ill repute. And, yes, the, and the all Nardcourt. the great music here. Uh, Dr. No and Stalag 13. Just really, really great. And we're we're on tour and we're playing. We played your 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 club here. Yeah. This is a cool place with a podcast. People use your energy well. Why do why just do one thing yeah. when you can have a club, be an eatery, be a place where people can gather, where you can do podcasts. The, I watch the television monitor out there, you know, when the people on stage, it's really great. Yeah, thank it's you. It's really great. Thank you. And um, it's a beautiful club, and I'm really be happy to be alive and doing it. NBC's my band. Um, I'm the only original member left. Two of the people have been with me over 20 years uh, here tonight. But uh, I was with my original drummer. He just kind of uh, had some health issues. Yeah. And it's, it's that kind of thing, you know. But this band's always picked up and moved on. And it's, you know, it's been my project, my baby. And uh, I want to speak truth to power about issues on war, militarism, on the multi-death corporation fucking spending all this money, trillions and trillions of dollars. It's almost a trillion dollars a year the United States spends on its military. It is more than the top 15 countries behind it. The United States, instead of creating a utopia, has created this you know, Fox News nightmare network where everyone's doom and gloom and people are pitted against each other and the Trump camp and you know, whoever. There's, there's a lot of ignorance out there. And instead of trying to unite the society, people are trying to split it up. And that's all through history. If you go back to the Greeks, you know, they, they poisoned Socrates. They were doing the same thing. The good people kept getting outvoted and they had the Peloponnesian Wars and it sapped all the strength of the Greeks end up being taken over by the Romans and by Bulgarians and everything else in that part of the world. Yeah. And the Romans got corrupt too. I mean, Romans were always a militaristic society, but, but it had some more purpose in the beginning and the middle. In the end, it was, uh, it was jaded and, you know, no, well, they killed Christ and then they became Christians. You know, it's, it's a story of Western civilization, and we get to play a part. And uh, life is beautiful. Just to be able to share these things. I, I like podcasts. I like Lex Friedman. Do you know Lex Friedman? No, I don't. He does a podcast, really great. He does Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and different people. I like Bill Maher's podcast. You ever yeah. see that? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Really great. He's he's funny guy. Uh, we can talk about anything. I yeah. like woke. I like like what what the comedian. Uh, uh, well, if you woke, it's mean you woke up out of what was regressive. You know, you woke up out of slavery. You stopped wanting to celebrate Confederate leaders. Now, some people start condemning Abraham Lincoln. I had someone try to tell me that. Lincoln was a racist and blah, 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 blah. And <clears throat> everything loses context of the time. But it's one of the things that's out there. The woke versus not woke. Yeah. And, uh, and then what we want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm getting up in age and I love my health. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Uh, I walk. I do yoga. Meditate. And uh, I want to live as long as I can. And... and I want to program my own AI after myself so I can go into outer space with all these kids <laughs> yeah. and set up, set up a, a planet up there circling one of Saturn's moons and just where it's all 72 degrees and it's like the size of the state of Delaware in space and we can grow our own food and do everything. Uh, I, that's an adventure I would like. Uh, but probably be buried under a tree here somewhere. Yeah. Just let me be fertilizer for, <laughs> for for bears and for trees. 
Well, so you've been doing you've been doing this for forty five years, and yeah, bands going. I started kind of seventy eight, seventy nine. We were playing backyard parties and that kind of stuff. And our first official gig was nineteen eighty. Wow. So forty five years doing the bands, and most of them I was busy with them. I did raise a son and, and kind of. Uh, I did maybe five gigs in five years because he was in junior high and high school, and yeah. I, mean, did I, you, I need to focus on on my child. Did you did you ever think though, like when you started back in in nineteen eighty or whatever, but earlier than that, that you, you know what you're doing would take you all over the world? Nineteen eighty is a different world. <laughs> it's really, really, really different. I mean, it's the same, but it's. You know, people were waking up out of that crazy kind of dream. The Vietnam War happened, you know, the hippie thing happened, and then was looking for a new big thing, you know, and disco came and cocaine came big and, and then punk rock. And yeah. I caught that wave, and we wanted to say something. People wanted to express Absolutely. who they are in this alternate culture, and I got to be part of that. And I loved it so much, I'd never done... I mean, I've, I've been a teacher, and uh, I work on houses, but there's something very special about making music yeah. and making art and poetry, something that people like. Yeah, love it, And that yeah. makes them feel better, writing a song about Chicken Squawk, about animal rights, or writing a song about the multi-death corporation, about people making profits on war in Gaza and Israel, everywhere, you oh, know, yeah. like... It's Big all business. about destroying the planet. Yeah, it, so it, it's really beautiful to be in this room here. It's a really gorgeous place. Oh, yeah. Wait till it's after I'll turn the lights on. The little black light, the whole thing glows. I got some 3D glasses, too. It all goes 3D. It's pretty cool. But you know what I think, you know, like you're talking about, because, you know, our generation, you know, I'm 51, and, you know, I, we got to see new music develop. You know, punk came about. You know, rap music came about. You know, this generation now, you know, my like my son... They just have kind of, there's no new style of music really that comes out. You know, like there was no punk before punk. You know, there was no rap before rap. It's, and now it's really true. In the punk world, they play all these festivals. All the bands are 35, 40 years old and yeah. up. Yeah. Very few of them are, you know, when I was going tour with the Dead Kennedys in 1982, Biafra was 25 and I, 23, and I was 22 and... You know, we were kids yeah, doing yeah. it, creating our own thing. Maybe the new thing. It's tough, you know, being part of punk was such a such unique effort. And it was rooted in rock and roll, Yeah, you know, and just rooted in the kind of thing that everyone should be doing it, whether it's Sonic Youth or Black Flag or, you know, everyone's got a song inside them. Everyone's got an emotion. And everyone can make music. Yeah. And... And uh, it was a great ethos that gave people the energy to become no effects and to become the Dead Kennedys, become Green Day, and become yeah. Rancid. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, you know, uh, I th thank you so much for coming here. You know, sharing your talents, you know, your story, and you know, I've been looking forward to seeing you guys play. And man, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it's, it's that. It's beautiful, you know. Uh, my life has been this like traveling minstrel show. It's like a joke in the Bible band, like we're the Muppets, you know, <laughs> like we're moving along, singing a song, and yeah. just trying to eat healthy and treat each other right, sell our stuff, and communicate with the world. Yeah. And it's, 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 it gets your dopamine very high meeting new people, meeting this place, meeting some of the people come yeah. up to me and say, wow, I like what you're doing. Yeah, I had a gentleman it's come nice in. It's nice to yeah. receive that kind of energy. Yeah, the guy came in earlier before you guys got here, and you know we were getting things ready, and he started telling me, oh man, that for the past two years he's you know he goes hiking a lot and stuff like that, and he, all he does is he listens to your new album. It's, that's, that's the only music he listens to all day. He says he loves it. It's very powerful, and he was so taken by your music, you know, and it, it was cool. He brought his kids here to see so they could be part of it and everything, and. It's amazing you know. what music means to people. And yeah. I am someone who, a child of the 60s, where AM radio was just given to us. And you could be seven, eight, nine years old, turn on the AM radio, you could be listening to Michael Jackson or the Beatles 
singing Help or singing yeah. uh, She Loves You. And it was just constant good. Otis Redding and, and Supremes oh, and yeah. Temptations and then developed into Cream and, you know, Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton. Uh, music is a strong oh, yeah. influencer and uh, it tickles me to feel uh, that you hear a story, to, to hear it myself, yeah. that people are enjoying the music so much they just focus on it and accomplish goals. Oh. It's it's one of the best things this, you can hear, yeah. you know, this thing. It's just like people coming to your podcast saying, This is this is beautiful and I'm saying that to you, so <laughs> your dopamine goes up. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, it's all about the dopamine, man. All the drug addiction, it's all dopamine. Yeah. All people chasing your tail, trying to get the first high you got. Yeah. And people go down the drain, it's really sad. Yeah. It's, I think yeah. they're gonna solve mental health. Well, by the time I'm up in the spaceship and my AI is circling, you know, Saturn, that we're going to have mental health figured out. And there's going to be snow, no starvation. People are going to figure out mental health and get it together. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Maybe. With the <laughs> I'm an optimist. Yeah. But, you know, I figure with me guiding the way in space. Yeah. We've got a lot better chance, right? Know, <laughs> at least I'll be part of something. Yeah. Well, David, thank you, dude, so much for coming thank out. Thank you so I much, my it. friends. Hey, good luck it's, with your tour, It's man. an honor. And, you know, we'll get this blip of a life. We get to shine, share, and, you know, and be with each other. And uh, thank you for making me feel like I'm part of something. Oh, yeah. You're you guys good. are beautiful. Yeah, thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everybody. Oxnard. Yep. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, uh, that, was, that was great. Dude.